This free plugin lets your TikTok live viewers control your OBS or live studio. I'll walk you through how I set it up and I'll show you some popular examples such as the cam2 command which is on screen now. For those that don't know, this command will let your viewers type a chat command to switch your camera. You're going to start by downloading the Tickfinity desktop app which is linked in the description. Replace this with your username. On the left, click on TikTok login, log in to TikTok and then click on OBS connection. Even if you use TikTok Live Studio, you're going to download OBS. It's linked in the description and we'll show you this setup in a second. If you already have OBS, just click help and click check for updates to make sure you're updated. Once you are updated, you're going to click on tools and click on WebSocket server settings. Then you can just copy what's on screen now. You can also enable the system tray alerts if you want a warning when it successfully connects and disconnects. We're then going to switch back into Tickfinity underneath the OBS connection. Just copy these settings 127.0.0.14455. You can see I've now deleted the password box. It's actually not required. And I'm clicking test connection and the OBS connection is working. Now, if you want a vertical stream like you're seeing on the right hand side here, what you're now going to do is close OBS. The reason you're closing OBS is because you need to go to Atom Vertical, linked in the description, and click the free download button. Make sure it's Atom Vertical and not Atom itself. Keep OBS closed and just run the Atom installer. All of the default options on the installer should be fine. Anyway, you want to open OBS again, even if you're using Live Studio. And to get this setup you're seeing on the right, click on Docs and make sure Vertical Scenes, Sources, and the word Vertical is selected. And if you like scene transitions, select that too. So let's now set up the Cam2 command. So so that your TikTok live viewers can either type the chat command or activate it with gifts, subs or follows. And what that will do is it'll pop up a different camera view that will appear for a few seconds then it will disappear back to your normal camera view. And by the way, this plugin will let your TikTok live viewers control any of your OBS scenes and sources. And again, we're going to add this to Live Studio as well. And speaking of adding it to Live Studio, if you're streaming Live Studio in landscape mode, you just want the button here which starts the virtual camera. Mine's already on. If you're streaming in vertical mode, it is this button here. This starts the vertical virtual camera, which is a bit of a mouthful. Whichever one you've added, you now need to go inside Live Studio, click Add Source, choose the camera option. Underneath the drop down list, look for the OBS virtual camera. Make sure it's in 60 FPS or whatever your FPS is set to and click on Add Source. It never adds it correctly. I'll click on it on the left, then I'll expand it. And now it's added correctly. Now, of course, you can see mine's already set up. Let me show you how I set this up. And here, the order of the sources absolutely matters. So I recommend you start by either adding your audio input and output in the settings underneath audio, or like I've done under the sources, click the plus button, add the audio input and output. This is shared between vertical and landscape. Worth noting, it's also not required if you're using Live Studio. You'll set the audio up inside Live Studio. Anyway, next, if you are gaming or showing your display, click the plus button and choose the display capture. But at this stage, if you're streaming in vertical mode instead, you want to go underneath the vertical sources, click the plus button and set the display capture from here instead. So now you've got your display added. Let's add both of our cameras and you want to start by adding your base camera. So as I said, what's going to happen is the viewers are going to type a command. Where is it like cam two up here? And that second camera, this one is going to appear for a few seconds, which you'll define. Then after a few seconds, it's going to disappear back to the base camera. So first add your base camera. That's the video capture device landscape. Here it is. And in vertical, press the plus button. And again, that's video capture device as well. If you're setting it up in both, if you're multi-streaming or something like that, then add it to the sources for landscape first. And you'll find it already has been added to the vertical list. Anyway, add the first camera in and then make sure you add the second camera in. And again, just make sure this second camera is at the top of the list of sources. But if you are adding text like me, you then need to press the plus button again and click on the text button again in vertical. It's basically the same option. And again, whatever's at the top of the list will appear over everything else. And if you have got the virtual cam enabled, again, if you switch back into Live Studio, you should see OBS and Live Studio looks identical. And if you are streaming on Live Studio, make sure you click on the audio mixer and add any relevant audio. So now OBS is set up. Let's set up Tickfinity. And we're going to switch from the Tickfinity setup page to the actions and events page. I'm going to click create new action and I'm going to name mine Cam2. 
Now let's scroll down a little bit and we're going to click activate OBS source. You might have a lot on your list like me, just find the correct one. So again, what I want to do, my keyboard cam, which is my second cam, I want this to appear for a few seconds and then disappear. So I'm going to select the keyboard cam. As it says underneath, the source will be automatically deactivated when the duration of the action has expired. So where is the duration? It's down here. So let's set this to disappear after three seconds. I'm gonna keep it super simple in this instance. You could also show an alert and that could put their username on the screen when they activate the command. But again, I'll keep mine super simple. So I'm gonna scroll down and I'm just gonna press the save command and I'm gonna ignore the error message. Next up underneath events, I'm gonna trigger it by commenting a command and the command is slash cam2, but you could type anything. It doesn't need a slash if you really want. Minimum level is zero and the action is the cam2 action. And you may wanna scroll down the page a little bit and increase the queue length of screen one if you want. Now let's get this tested out and we'll test it inside Live Studio. And I just noticed I'd clicked on the wrong vertical scene. So we're back on the correct vertical scene. And as I said, we'll test it inside Live Studio. Uh, to do that, we open up Tickfinity and we'll press the play button. What I'll do is I'll put them side by side. If I now press play, you can see the action has been executed and nothing is happening. And it's good to watch failure sometimes because what I realized I didn't do is I have landscape and vertical scenes. I selected the keyboard cam on the landscape one, but we're actually doing this in vertical. So let me click on the correct one. Now I've selected the keyboard cam on the vertical scene. I'll save the action. I'll press play now. And now you can see it switched to my second camera. It's appeared for three seconds. So now it's properly working. Don't make the same mistake as me. If you're using Atom Vertical, make sure you select the correct scene because you might have your camera added in two places like I did. Now, of course, you don't have to use this for your camera. You can activate any OBS source. So for example, if you want to show an image for a few seconds, you can just set it to activate the image and then it will automatically hide. And by the way, I have been showing you how to switch the sources. OBS can also switch the scenes if you want to switch to a completely separate scene as well. You can watch this video next to learn how to quickly set up, follow, sub and gift alerts on Tickfinity.